cricket may be a gentleman's game, but it is also good fun on the beach. 25 years ago, Brad Bing introduced Calypso Cricket to the children of South Africa to bring communities together. The whole idea of the day is to get kids onto the beach, give them an opportunity in life and identify any sporting talent that's, that's here, cricketing talent especially. 25 years ago, he said, let's do something that we can just bring everyone together. And especially in those days, 25 years ago, it was bringing the respective communities together. And we just said, let's have a game of cricket on the beach. What is it about Calypso cricket specifically that makes it so attractive, that has that flair? What makes it different from conventional cricket is, is very simple. It's played on the beach. There are no rules. It's just tip and run, one hand, one bounce, etc. I've always maintained I can coach flair. And if you find someone with flair and they've got the talent and they're hungry for success, they'll be a success. And that's the difference between conventional cricket and Calypso cricket. For most of these youth, Calypso Cricket opens a world of opportunity. Having started as one of these children, Wonga Machabane continues to pay it forward through the innovative cricket program. Wonga, what makes this a great introduction to cricket? I think it's, it's a fun and, and a new way to start playing cricket if you're not interested. You're not going to get 500 kids playing cricket in the same vein all at the same time, unless you're you know, in Calypso Beach Cricket. And as soon as you get to, even if you don't care about it, you start being a little bit competitive because you put into teams, you get a t-shirt, and it starts getting a little bit serious in the sense of, you know, I want to play this sport, you know, I want to do it properly. We know this is the starting point. This is where we foster that love of the game, but it becomes vital that we support once we've identified that talent. How important is it to have a bursary, to have a mentor when we're knocking on that door? The identifying is just the beginning, but the mentoring, making sure that the kids are look after is probably the most important. We need, you know, to sort out equipment, you need to go watch them, you know, so that financial backing, making sure that we've got people who are spending time on these kids on a daily basis, besides the coach and the teacher at the school, to me, I think is really, really important. This game has changed the lives of its participants as learners win bursaries to further their education and cricket careers, thanks to Sporting Chance. I started cricket in 2008 and I was playing for under 15. And I started to grow up and develop playing cricket. And then Sporting Chance saw me when I was playing against Hilda Beck in Kailicha Cricket Club. And they started to tell me that they will pay a passage for me. I would say my life is, is in a good position because I have a passage. Sporting Chance gave it to me. So now I'm getting stronger. I'm playing cricket at Western Cape Sports School. For me, this, I saw a lot of potential from these young boys that they can also go and study to other schools. Now, Sporting Chance do unbelievable work. Not only do they foster a love for the beautiful game of cricket, but they also provide bursaries for those talented youngsters once they've been identified, which is crucial. But for me, just seeing cricket being played for as far as the eye can see, that's achievement enough.